You know, I don't mind it. They have a lot more, you know, power in their lineup now with Pitt and with Peter, so it's not as big of an issue as it was last year. Or last season, excuse me. Hmm, okay. And Dust2, where is it for him possibly to lurk? Lower tunnel, just keep looking cat or anything like that? It seems that LG have lost the knife round, though. So, that'll be CLG starting CT. Yeah, and that's, uh, it's gonna give him an opportunity to get a good start to get these ops rolling in and see what they can do. And it's all gonna, a lot of this is gonna come down towards, you know, this Luminosity against Liquid in that last match. Luminosity just won all those early battles, and it's, I think it's gonna be a little bit tougher on Dust2 once someone like uh, JDM breaks out his op, and even if Tarek decides to double op, you know, it's gonna be a little bit harder for him to find those opening kills. All right, so first pistol round gonna come underway. We see triple armor from the CLG side, some supportive nades, and then a kit on JDM. Everybody else from the LG team, we got four armor, and then PDR, or Peter is gonna be fixing up with those nades over long to make some noise, and there's actually nobody playing out long, which is interesting, while Tarek holds over here to Cat. He opens up onto Pith, Pit, excuse me, and uh, gets that headshot, so that's a good way to start. He gets tagged up himself, though, so he's got to be careful. He retreats out. Hayes gets traded out in the meantime by Flom. Then FNS finds Anger, so they're just going back and forth. It's three on two, and out of nowhere, LG are just in a really terrible position. This nade actually might be enough to pick up Flom. He jumps into it. No! Put down to four health. And he's sitting behind that box, and he's he's left all alone. Peter's on a huge flank right now, shooting on the back. The 180 from JDM. Is it enough? Flom gets the headshot! Coming in from Tuttle, the one-man Cutler. Can he do this? One on two. Pushing in. Jump Glock burst. Flom almost dying there. He's going to go for the flank, though. Oh, Cutler turning around. Flom choked on the shot in the oh, back. Cutler. Yeah, Cutler clutches it out. He gets a triple cut and a little bit of teabag action, too. That's a, that's a really solid clutch for him to win. What a performance there. And, and that's Cutler. That's, that's their... You know, he's a player that doesn't often get mentioned, and, and you know, just to prove the point, I didn't bring him up at all in the pregame talking about him, but such a such a solid player, very good fundamentally, a great support player for CLG, and he comes up huge there in that pistol round. That was, that back shot was a huge choke right now, but a battle of the uh, scouts coming in as Peter going against Tarek, they both end up trading and tagging each other, but LG, they're back on the Deagles, Pit is going to have his, and... I mean, he did magical things with it against Liquid. I wonder if we'll be able to do it against CLG. A quick... Actually, it looks like they're going to try to flash over here towards... Uh, yeah, this B. is going to be brutal. There's two scopes on this door, so if they throw a pop flash, which they didn't, but they are out now. JDM takes oh, them down, but there's the Deagles and the Tech 9s coming in. A spray down, but the B site is completely open. They just cracked this open. All right, Flom now, has another chance to hit them in the back. Actually, throws that nade. Never mind. <laughs> Well, this is just tough. Now CLG is behind the smoke. They know that there was a player close at one point. That flash is going to hold them off a little bit longer, and they have no kit. So they're going to have to pick one up. They, they better hope that a teammate had one. And even Cutler blinding himself a little bit there. And Luminosity is going to take this round off the back of CLG having two scouts in middle. I, that was just... You can't mow people down with two scouts there like that. Oh, FNS. He's going to end up running into Pit. Oh, actually, Flom, excuse me, takes him out. But Peter's there to trade with Pit, and there you have it. Luminosity, take the eco rounds. Jeez. Way to start. That's a hell of a way to start. CLG's money is just all over the place. They're just so broken that they're going to be forced to eco hardcore, and maybe even one P250 is going to be scattered there. But yeah, well played by Luminosity. Pith opening up that B bomb site. That was, that was a hell of a shot. Yeah, that, that could have actually been murder. If they had one pop flash with two scopes, scope yep. not able to turn from it, not able to see him coming, that could have been brutal. But even so, just dry. And now they're all completely blind along. Even Flom gets blind, though, so that bails them out a little bit. Now they're able to set two up in pit. Lex is going to come out. He's got to check the corner. Haze is there. JDM gets one, but then two get traded off immediately. There's one more in the pit who's blind. Oh, he saw him! Lex! Lex. saw him and just turns away. Uh -oh. Maybe he thought it was a dead body, but... Color. He's going to get one? He's going to look to get some more? No. He's only going to be lucky to get one. That could have been like a knife into another kill if he was sneaky enough, but didn't want to go for it. So almost a good situation for him, but there you go. FNS is going to be the last to die, and Colors looking pretty good himself right now, leading at 6-2. and two. <laughs> That was crazy. Yeah, Color almost got away with something crazy there. That would have been nice, but... A good second round from Luminosity, or a good third round from Luminosity, excuse me. Is that is that like a black bars kind of thing? If Lex is playing with black bars, he doesn't see him there. Well, he, they just killed one. He might have thought it was a dead body. I, you know, I don't know. That's don't know yeah, that's was. weird. I would like to ask him. Maybe yeah, I'll ask him a, after the it's game. It's not really a black bars thing because he showed up perfectly in the center of the screen, just a little no. bit. Ooh, crazy. the nade stack, bringing down two members, sub double digits. Anger and oh, flaw. Oh wow. What a what a game. <laughs> Everybody's going. That was a huge hit. That was a huge hit. 
So, I mean, that puts Luminosity in a really questionable position, because anywhere they try to execute now, if Anger or Flom leads, that's just guns on the deck, so... Yeah, and look at how much this has slowed them down, too. They have to play it a little bit more passively, a little bit more cautiously. They're all spread out waiting for anything. CLG's not giving away any kills, either, so... They've got to advance slowly, and Anger and Flom are basically... I, I mean, they're just, they're just a breath away from falling over. They're going to commit to long, it seems, and Tarek's going to have himself possibly a field day... If any of the low members of LG kind of peek out here, the seven man two is lurking up there over towards uh, the catwalk. So PDR or Peter is going to be holding that one. Got to take down Cutler. The flash comes in. Peter's going to push. He's going to get flashed up, but he pushed past the flash, so he's able to get the shot on the Cutler. They're still pushing out long. Lex is going to peek on a Terra in a pit. He's not going to have it happen again. <laughs> he learned the armor yeah, last he, time. He clears that very, very wide. All right, FNS. He's able to get one with his CZ, but Flom from long, he's back onto the big op. Picks up the kill, the ace hits open, the bomb's gonna go down, and Hayes and JDM. This is gonna be a very tough retake, but this is manageable somehow because of those early nades. Well, even even Peter's down to 25. Yep. They're not gonna go for it because they obviously don't know the health. If they did, they, they'd probably be going for this, but they're gonna look for some exit kills and they could find him. Although Lex with a very nice shot into JDM shuts down that dream. Another dink, Hayes grabs one, could grab a second, and now Peter's got to cross somehow with only 25. So, uh, Hayes is pushing up. He's like, come on, guys, where are you at? But that'll be uh, a nice three in a row for Luminosity now. They didn't look back after taking that eco rounds, and this is the big round for CLG, though. They'll be able to full buy. They can pick up an op with armor if they want to, and just forego the head armor, and it will... Actually, no, JDM has enough. Never mind. He doesn't have nades, though, which kind of sucks, but he'll have to make do. Yeah, as long as they have it in his hands, they're going to be happy with it. He's going to head over towards long. So, this round they did they did like a 1-2-2 one, two, two with one player in B and two in mid. And this round, they're only sending two over towards that B side. All right, so Nade's coming out here towards this B side. They smoke him off. Oh, hazed through the smoke. Not going to fall for any kind of blind fire there. And that's an excellent way to start off this first gun round. Yeah, Alex, that's, that's really unfortunate. Now they're all clumped up over towards mid. They're going to walk up catwalk. They're going to have a lot of room to work with here. JDM is playing long in between the pit and in between the bombsite, just rotating back and forth. So Luminosity has complete control of Cat in mid at the moment. No one even close to peeking it and getting any kind of information. So coming up the catwalk, that nade from Cutler. Does a little bit, but not going to tag him up too much. And there's no one playing on the site, so if they actually push up quick enough, this could be what's, a quick take. Yeah, what's scary is they have a lot of room to even drop somebody, so JDM could be in some trouble. Here comes the smoke over. He's going to call it out, but his teammate's going to be smoked off, so it's going to be all up to JDM, and they need to stay alive at long uh, if this take comes in. If, if JDM gets pushed back, he just needs to survive. We've seen one too many at Opera makes such a good use of this car position. He gets one. He's going to look for some more, but getting rushed down by the AK, and then covering the flank. Anger takes down Cutler. This A bomb site now left open. The two men in Haze hovering over towards that blue dumpster, and he'll have to go for the long push away for his team to get up Cat, so... Good positioning so far for CLG. The retake is highly possible now. Luminosity, though, if they kill off Haze the long, this might be their round. But FNS, that's not Haze. FNS goes big. He gets a double kill, leaving Anger in a one on two with two health. He can't do it. Haze gets him no out. Kits, though. No kits, oh, but there's plenty, plenty of time. Of time. Yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, that was a scary situation for CLG. That that was a perfect perfect attack from Luminosity for for the defense that CLG was offering, and they weren't looking for any kind of infor information in mid, so they had really had no idea that, that that catwalk hit was coming. It was all on JDM. And now look at CLG. I said to you, we might see the double op setup out of them, and they do. They pick two up. They salvage them. So one's going to go to Tarek more than likely. One's going to go to JDM. All right. So we'll get to see the setup like we were talking about in the pregame. And what one long, one mid? What are you doing? Yeah, one long, one mid should be the the call out here. So Tarek's going to try to up against Peter. And Peter is more than ready. So, the smoke coming in. He actually gets haze to the door, so there's only going to be one in B. That's going to be the call out for Lexi just push on in. That's going to be all up to JDM here. Flash is coming and getting traded, but JDM takes down Lex. Oh, man, and Cutler pushing up mid. He get he got flashed out a little bit from CT. And all of a sudden, everything's evened up, and an early frag from Peter just gets denied. All the momentum that they would have had off that taking the B site is just shut down right there. So they commit to a lower total kind of play. Go look for the smokes, possibly fake out a CT. And I, I like what CLG do. They kind of put two towards long again and they just leave Tarek to watch for Cat from Car. That position, just about every team has been using so efficiently lately. And he actually pushes up to the, the uh, A ramp there. Yeah, and once again, just grouping up on Catwalk. So they want to test this again because they had some success getting into here and now they want to see if they can hold it one more time. Tarek's got a, got a spot over the box. It's going to be all up to this battle with Peter. 
Oh, Tarek. The question is, it looks like they're in a flash form. They're just going to molly off the bomb site, but at some point, he was going to swing out. Tarek misses the shot, so now they're going to come out. There's the flashbang. Full blind. Blinds Tarek completely. Blinds his teammates as well, but now Tarek fully exposed. He swings up, he gets one shot. Peter misses again, but Tarek's Woo! holding the site beautifully. A nice headshot on a pit. And it's just one last player, Anger, down at the quad box. He sprays one down, but gets traded out by FNS immediately. A nice hold by Tarek there on the A ramp. Yeah, solid hold. Despite him dying, but they pick up the uh, AWP nonetheless. And I mean, that headshot was pretty clean. And yeah, you know, Luminosity kind of getting put to a bit of a break now. Uh, CLG's reads on the situations have been pretty much on point, And the cat plays from Luminosity, they've been able to get into the site every t just about every time. But... Uh, CLG is starting to adapt to that, so Luminosity's got to throw something out there that's a little random. And now we got the Deagles and P250s. This is what they did against Liquid, and doing it against CLG would be pretty insane, but highly unlikely. Well, they're gonna they're gonna flash over here, and FNS could get caught off guard. He's gonna smoke it out just now, so they might want to just come through this. To be completely honest, the all five players. This is definitely where they grouped up. It's it's Peter with the smoke and a flash coming right now. FNS isn't going to get blind. He turns away, but he is completely smoked off, so that's going to force him back. That's going to give him long control, but really, what do you do from here? you got five pistols. You have no way of crossing, so you take long control. Congratulations, and now you're just forced back because no, <laughs> FNS falls away and doesn't give you anything. So now they have no utility, and then they have nothing to show for it. Hmm. Okay. And now they're all spread out on top of that. Well, at least they kind of divvied up CLG's kind of coverage. They put yeah, two out I'm long, not, too. I'm not, I'm not really criticizing Luminosity for that. I'm just, it was great, great choice by FNS to just fall back, not take that battle, because now they're not given anything. Cool, so Pit still alive. They're bringing the bomb actually over towards B. Pit still in the pit. Oh, look at the one tap. He's able to get the 1D. Lex gets a 1D of his own. He's going to push out to this beast bomb site thinking it's open, but Hayes is going to say, no, 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 you do not come in, and now it's at the pit. One on three. He'd have to get the 4K to win the round, but I, I don't think he's that magical. He's going to actually just jump out mid. What is this? He just gets JDM, the balls on this player. But he's now stuck in a crossfire, and he actually jumps across the truck. So I'm going to follow his perspective. He picks up an AWP. Uh-oh. Let's see. He's got five seconds, actually. There's no time for him to do this. He, he, I believe he's just going to save the AWP. He's put himself in a very awkward position to try and do this, and you can tell FNS is he's trying gonna push to chase him out. Yep. Oh, okay, he's dead. No, no AWP save for him. Nice shot, though, I gotta say, with, with the Deagle, at least. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. What is, there's something about North American players, I guess, going against Europeans, where they just, uh, everything just kind of shuts down when they show up on their screen. I honestly would not know what that would be. Maybe it's just <laughs> a, a, a fear, it's just an instinct. All the NACS players have it drilled into their head that Europeans are better than them. Uh, so, I don't know. But Pith, or Pit, oh my god, it's so hard to say that. You can do it, buddy. I can do it. I can learn in a matter of minutes, but lower tunnel, luminosity, they have the smokes, and they picked up plenty of nades. One tech nine onto Pit, but uh, they might go for the CT smoke. It seems that they're kind of inching their way out, and they'll be running into Cutler, who's been playing the CT spawn spot just about every round. So they have to get through him first, and as they push out, he takes one, but they go for the trade. Flom gets it. They're smoking CT, and they're going to be faking this a little bit, going back into the tunnel. Yeah, but the, the mid kill gives him a lot, a lot of control. Although, look at this flank from FNS now. He's pushed up. Anger's going to come back a little bit aware of it, but not quite ready for that peak. And now FNS rotates all the way back around towards T spawn, looking for another one. Peter's got to be aware, and he That's is. That's a big Flom kill. Gets taken down to seven. Yeah, but he does get dropped. You're right. It's equalized. But look at how CLG is spread out now. One player close up in B. Second player is kind of, you know, debating between going mid and staying in B, and then one player just over at long. It's JDM with the op. So. Luminosity, they're eventually going to go towards B. The bomb's working its way into upper B, and Peter's just coming to, over towards A to try and find any kind of information or a pick or, or any any sign of what's there. Oh, Hayes, he's going to peek at the perfect time. Spots out Lex, spots out Flom, takes Flom down first. He's going to flash, and Lex is going to push him, but Hayes is just too ready. And uh, this is all up to Peter now as he goes up mid. Tarek shoots in the back of the head, and... All right, CLG haven't budged, uh, I gotta say. Solid hold, and it was kind of a luck of the draw that they pushed into the site where they were kind of outmanned. It was actually a good call by, by CLG to, to split things up like that. JDM was in a position where he could use the range of his AWP and stay alive if they hit A. Uh, and then they just double stack B, and, and they keep an eye on middle. So Smart group up from CLG instead of getting too spread out in a mid-round situation. So CLG pulling that magic, taking a few rounds, and... JDM, he got an aggressive spot here on Cat. He's gonna find one. This is an eco, so he takes on Pit. 
And he's got a retreat, though. He doesn't want to get random out by <laughs> that pistol, but he finds a headshot for himself. Cutler's there. Flom finds 1-1 one, one Deke, but yeah, that's that's just a quick round. CLG take down no problem. His Deagle's for LG, man, and two maps now. They're just brutal. I actually be pretty scared of an anti-eco against them. Like, they, they're pretty pretty good with this. Pretty proficient, it seems. Everybody seems to have, <laughs> have been hitting their shots so far with that gun. And, I mean, now we're on to round 10. Luminosity... Took three in a row, lost three in a row. Now uh, they're actually losing four in a row, so pretty tough. Yeah, Peter's got that AWP, and they they just gotta find they've gotta find some openings here. Cutler's gonna rotate back towards mid to help anchor all this down, but still nothing from Luminosity indicating where they want to go. They are gonna take this mid control eventually. A lot of players grouped up towards the old green box at the base of Catwalk, and here they come down mid. So, I, I mean, honestly, they keep trying to go for this, like, mid-B smoke, and it just never works. Like, they, they try to get through Cutler, and they always end up losing somebody. So, uh... Well, here's where they're going to they're gonna push back Cat, so they're going to take Cat control. And what that kind of does, now that, now that CLG knows that they have Cat control, uh, it forces Cutler and CT Spawn to really make a good read on, on where he's going to, you know, put his focus. Is it going to be over towards A in case they do a Catwalk episode, or mid if they, if they do a mid-B split? And they're even going to have that mid-B smoke to kind of fake him out and to delay him from rotating towards the ramp. So it'll put a lot of pressure on JDM to hit some nice shots here initially. So JDM, do you have what it takes? I'm going to actually follow him around a little bit. He gets blinded. And they still haven't decided yet, but they're waiting for the smokes to kind of pop out here. Throws a molly. That molly is actually going to be huge. They jump over it, though. Pit makes his way down CT. JDM didn't see it. Pit's going to get a double kill, taking out FNS and JDM. Cutler from CT just spraying through. Finds one kill, luckily, onto Anger. The bomb's going to get planted for Cadence. What a play. The Swedish powerhouse, I guess I have to say. <laughs> just going in and being that entry for Anger. Yeah, they, they completely isolated Cutler. He had no idea where the attack was going to come from, and, and that allowed Pitt so much so much room to operate. And now, you know, Lex goes down in mid, but you see the retake defense adjust because he sees all three members. So they immediately shift over towards the railing and, and focus attention that way. But it's going to be a full save out of CLG, so that's going to be a fourth round for Luminosity, opened up by Pitt's two kills. Yeah, the economy isn't the best for CLG right now, but as long as they can save these guns, they don't have an AWP, though. That's the big thing. So uh, one person will be able to pick one up for JDM at least. And it's Luminosity, breakthrough finally. They make that cat play work uh, off of mispositioning from CLG, and the bomb explodes. They'll take that round and they move on to the 11th. That was like. Pitt just flew out there like Superman. He's like, alright, boys, I'm going in. Good luck. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. That was crazy. Yeah, and a nice pop flash too to, to blind uh, JDM as well. You know, sometimes you see those operas not get completely blind, and they're able to, you know, you know pretty much guess that there's going to be a drop occurring and take him out, but. JDM fully blind there. Aggressive cat peek again. Look at this. He gets a fast cat up, and what's he going to find? He's still hugging that wall. He's looking towards the lower tunnel. Peter may be wary of the position. They actually get a flash in. Peter cannot connect. They hear JDM's off, too, as he shoots a little bit too early. And uh, a three cat play from CLG, actually. Yeah, that was actually a really, really nice pop flash from Luminosity. You see it a lot in Europe. You don't see too many. You don't, you don't see it as much as you'd like to in North America. It's just a pop flash to, to force back that opera looking into lower beer. Anyone, really. It just prevents anyone from getting picked off who's trying to come towards mid from those B tunnels. So, Peter not really mounted up in any kind of really solid position right now, just kind of moving around, looking for kind of anybody rotating out. And CLG are really committed to holding this cat. Like, three members all sitting up there. Cutler gave up his mid uh, CT position hold. Like, that's that's not too common to see. So flashbangs out, and they're just up mid. Cutler would have normally yeah. spotted this out by now. This defense from CLG is so static at the moment. They have no information, and here oh, it is. The only information they can get is Tarek pushing. And now look, it's Hayes all alone in a mid-B split, so that three-person catwalk is, is really not working out for him. They're going to have to He's go get one. Hayes takes out Lex. He gets pit as well, so Hayes holding it down, and that's a huge hold for What him. a player. A, one. Oh, a fourth? Oh. Unbelievable work from Hayes that round. <laughs> Holy crap. That's the sound M4 at work. They had no idea where they got shot from. He hid behind the big box and... Woo! He is saving the rounds. Solid behold by himself, even with Tarek going too aggressive. Yeah, he, he worked He worked the angles of that box uh, perfectly there, to perfection in, in that round, using the sound of Lex running by. Hayes coming up absolutely huge in, in a situation where he had to, because CLG had a, had a terrible read on the situation, or no read at all, and he had to be huge. There's JDM getting an opening pick. This is another eco round from Luminosity. Flom and uh, Pit both have smokes, so they'll have something for the cross here if they can make it. And uh, just on a hard eco, LG, I don't, I don't really see them winning this round, but who knows? Things have been done before.
but this should be a quick 8-4 in the CLG favor. The economy for Luminosity is actually not too bad, so they'll be able to full buy up next round. And uh, I think if I had a plant somehow in this round, that'd be even better. A little bit more icing on the cake, but... Like, Haze is like a huge momentum builder there. That last round has to be so hype for CLG. And the game is still staying really close. Luminosity still doing those four rounds, and JDM catching Pit as he tries to jump into Pit. And a uh, nice headshot there. Yeah, not really, much, not really much left for them to do here in this round, so uh, not really even going to be able to do any much economical damage. They do pop flash mid, they get two players blind, Anger's going to come out. Cutler's going to drop a grenade, which does some good damage. The flank, oh no! Yeah, and FNS pushing off Catwalk, he's going to get one, he's going to get a second one. Terra goes on, Flam gets two. That was kind of Cutler just running through the smoke blind anyway, but... Alright. Trying to, trying to capitalize losses, I guess, from CLG. But 12 can hazed, he's not too worried, and double bet. Double up setup once again coming in. Peter picks up his own op, and I mean he got the pick last time onto Hazed when he crossed. If he can get it again this time, that'd be pretty phenomenal. But I want to see that flash up mid. Tarek's going in with the op. He's got it for JDM. Oh no, JDM's gonna flash for Tarek instead. But there's nobody peeking. Oh Peter, he played that so well. He's gonna go for the secondary peek. They're gonna double op set up him actually. Hmm, just depends on his timing. Tarek pushing, looking down lower. He's gonna spot him out, but he gets wall bang. No kill. Had that been the wall. The wooden doors, maybe that would have been the kill, but all right, takes a one for none. Yeah, but now Luminosity again. I mean, they're they're in a situation where they're down a man. They, they've been in that pretty often in this half, and they're all spread out. No map control. It's gonna be Pitt and Peter working their way up catwalk, and this is this is pretty much the same defense that CLG has had. FNS this time is in CT spawn instead of Cutler, but it's you know two over towards long, two and B, and one in CT spawn. All right. they, they haven't really they haven't really found a response to it quite yet. I don't really know what the response would be. I have never been a pro player before. But, uh, alright. They're going for the cat play, it seems. JDM is holding on to B, looking out window. Doesn't spot anything up mid. And, uh, again, we're back on to Tarek. He's going to be holding from cars. So, let's see. Incendiary comes in. That's going to be a good one. They don't want to push through it. Taking it slow. 30 seconds on the clock. Maybe a little too slow. Hmm. Can they advance through Tarek? Flashes out. Tarek was full blinded. And... Oh, they get a kill into FNS, but Tarek's still holding such low HP. He gets a second. Can he get a third? Anger holding elevator. And then the man up flat. The flick comes in. Pit goes down. And we're Tarek's looking at up at this A bomb site has been, has been deadly this this half so far. He's It's much improved from what I've seen it in the past. Mm -hmm. and. He's just been a beast. He had a three kill earlier in that same same sort of positioning, and now he gets a four kill. So shutting everything down from Luminosity. Yeah, Tarek showing his opera genes, and I mean that's so good. KDA wise, like everybody's racking up twelve kills on CLG. Just behind him is Cutler and JDM, and I mean the, the one fragging out is Flom right now from the LG side. Everybody else is kind of kind of lacking a little bit. But the Eagle from Pit, oh, he gets it. Oh my god. Who needs a rifle when you can just use a deagle the entire time? He spots Tarek out too. He's gonna push him actually, but Tarek pulls out the little banana hammock and <laughs> there you go. Takes one, but can't take down Lex's deagle. Peter throwing in the flash in the face of Cutler takes him out. <laughs> what is this eco round? This was an aggressive one that I guess LG come out on top of. Fl uh, Flom getting sniped out from JDM. Anger tries to respond with the counter kill. Bob gets planted at least though from LG, and uh, they know that the man in B is alone, and then they kill off Anger. So even more so doable. Yeah, but it is Peter. He's pulled out some magic in these situations before. He's looking for one. He's got to be wary of the, of the window. He's not looking up there quite yet. He does peek it at the right time, but can't connect with the shot. And now they're getting very, very close. And misses that flick shot. Oh. Goes for a no scope, but I think he actually looked. He did like him. him. Yeah. Through like a through a wall or something. I don't know. It must have been like a, a wall bang leg shot. So <laughs> really minimal damage. But yeah, anyway. CLG's gone through just two stretches of just stringing these rounds together. They won five, lost one, and now they won four straight. So. The Luminosity hasn't been able to get any momentum going for him whatsoever, especially on gun rounds. They did they did pick up that, that second round eco in the ensuing rounds after that, but since then it, it's been all CLG. And so Luminosity, this is the last chance to make this an even, you know, dust two. Peeking up. Oh, Tarek, not going to have any of that. Just gets the wall bang headshot onto Peter. Jeez. Yeah, and again, I mean, this is, it's interesting because this has been an issue for CLG in the past is, is getting picked off and losing the early round battles and... And, you know, Dust2 is a map that they obviously feel comfortable on, and, and, and they've been doing very, very well tonight getting that opening pick. 
I honestly say, screw looking for an opera, just let Tarek off and pick up a rifler. I mean, like after today, it's been looking okay, but I'm just being uh, an exaggerator. But uh. yeah, you can do that. You can get away with it on this map, but on other maps, you need his rifle to be to be on point. Ooh. But look at this push into lower B from Hayes. He takes a pit down to five, but can't complete it. A nade's gonna take him out from FNS off catwalk though. So quickly, another uh, keeps the advantage in CLG's favor in a four on three. Lex is gonna toss some grenades out. Looks like they want to get into B. All three members huddled up into these B tunnels. And uh oh, up on cat, FNS finds one but gets traded out. So. Maybe the call is but, just to run A. No, that, that's perfect, though. I, I mean, he spotted it so early he got one kill. That allowed Tarek to get back from CT spawn. Now he's got an angle that Flom's not ready to check, but Flom stops just at the wrong time. Tarek misses it, so now it's going to be a tough spot. He throws the Molotov a little bit too far. They're going to be able to push into the bomb site, and he's in a very, very scary situation. Tarek! Oh, what an absolutely amazing shot from Tarek there. Behind the oh, scene, he gets a second one, so Tarek playing that wonderfully. <laughs> Frag Shack's paying off, man. <laughs> Those DM reaction shots may be coming into effect. But CLG, they're going to bring it to an 11-4 for the half. LG have their work cut out for them right now. Whew. People calling LG. CLG fans got to be pretty happy right now. And I mean, the defensive side from LG is something we haven't seen yet, though. And uh, they did pretty well against Liquid with that. Uh, Tarek's just having a fantastic start to the season, really. In all their matches, he's been playing so incredibly well. So as I take a swift swig of my water, we're heading into it. This is the final match of the night. Everything's going to restart. We're going to hit the pistol. This is the ESL Pro League with ESCA. And, I mean, it's a hell of a night for amazing Pro League, Pro Level matches for North Americans. I mean, there's going to be even more a couple hours later in UU. If I'm correct with the schedule, I might be wrong, but who knows? Obviously, I don't know. But, <laughs> all right. <laughs> this four this four armor buy picked up from CLG. This is indicative that they want to just go balls out and just try to get some of these early frags. Pit, though, up mid, looking for the taps of the P2K. Lights up FNS just a bit. The flashes come over. They're going to throw the smoke, and this is indicative of that B play. So there it is. Hayes just going to insta goosh pit. He's going to end up gooshing Flob as well, who can't hit the shots for his life. And Hayes comes in with that kill. Then Cutler finds Lex. So the B side is open. And that's Every be player first from round. CLG, there's, there's no finesse. They just man moded everywhere, and they've cleaned out this defense. Well, there you have it. They're going to rush down P uh, Peter and... Counterlogic Gaming, just coming on fire right now, just going out aggressive. So we'll see Pistol Armor LG? No? They don't have the money for it, they didn't get any kills, so... Yeah, they'll just pick up P250s and uh, yeah, Deagle uh, again? Yeah. If they if they Pistol Armor and lose... It's it's a horrible situation, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they're kind of trying to give themselves a chance once they get rifles in their hands. JDM legged Lex there with the scout through the door, so... That's going to be pretty difficult to deal with. So, all right, Deagle, Lex, you're doing pretty well on cash, and there it is! He takes down Cutler! Oh, my. Literally, just stop buying any other items. Just go for the Deagles. It's always very entertaining to watch, but not very effective at times. So, we see the one-tap come in. We already have the man advantage now. I, uh... I don't know, this double, sc this double up scope setup, this double scouts, it's making this take very, very slow. You can't do things Woo! that you can do with an SMG. You can't really entry frag, and now they're both going to get taken out in these tight quarters, but here comes the mid-B split. So Tarek yeah, bails him out with two quick kills. Peter, though, comes in at a perfect time to take down Tarek and go for the AV exchange. JDM stuck here in the tunnel. He picks up an AK, he's going to retreat back out. The bomb still has yet to be planted. Anger sells the deagle in his hand, and this could be the perfect deag shot. If he gets it, yes, he does. He takes out the bomb. The smoke drops, and now it's all left to a one on two. I don't know why JDM was uh, was not just a little bit more patient before that smoke plume. But Finesse threw one out, and he peeks close to the door, so that's tough. And now Tarek's in a really, really awkward position with 30 seconds left. Oh, he's gonna go for the bomb. They see him flicking it down. Anger, the Deagles. What? Did they, where are they training that they're just using Deagles like this? I'm not used to seeing. Anyone in LG really deagle like this before? Like all the yeah, matches I've watched it's them. crazy. They didn't even have armor that round, which no. is kind of. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know I don't like double scout as, a, as on an anti eco is just kind of. I mean, it's going to be run and gun at you with these with the pistols that they buy up. So you're really putting yourself at a, a huge disadvantage with two of them. That puts CLG onto their own eco. They still have a mass round advantage they can use, and uh, they're going to pull the deagles of their own though. Well, one deal for Hazed, but. 
Uh, maybe they just go for an aggressive push onto Peter Scout. He does end up hitting Hayes pretty hard. The question is, do they push off of this? Flam is ready for a pop flash too in mid. It's a pretty common pop flash spot, but they're not going for it. And they're going to creep up Cat, kind of like what Luminosity did to them. Let me make it through. Yeah, and, and Peter's playing very far back with his scout over at the car, so Hayes is going to be the first one out. He's going to get dropped by a nice headshot, but here they come streaming out. Peter tags another one. He's going to miss the he's going to miss the kill shot. Oh, he's tagging them he's all. He's tagging up. multiple. Yeah, he's done so much damage. They are going to get the bomb planted, which is huge. No nade, unfortunately, and there's complete control of log for Luminosity, so this retake should be relatively textbook as Tarek and FNS get taken out on Catwalk, and it's all up to JDM. Yep, there you go. It's a simple retake, gonna get the defuse, and, I mean, alright, that's that's a good way to start for Luminosity. Bring it to the 6, and slowly work their way up. They gotta play this round by round right now, and CLG should be on another eco, and then we'll we'll see the real gun round come out. Actually, no, they could, they could do it. They got the plan, just kidding. Yeah, they'll be able to pick up uh, AKs this round. No op, though, unfortunately, for either Tarek or uh, JDM. Yeah, and this is an absolutely important round for Luminosity. Peter with that AWP, he's going to head over towards Long. He's going to be there with Pit and uh, Anger as well. So they're going to take Long Control. And it just seems these are very typical uh, Long A setups. They're going to stop any kind of quick Long A push. But look at CLG. They're getting up Catwalk very, very quick. And this is kind of a counter to so many people coming Long. Hey, look how out of position they are. Pit might get caught off guard by how quick they come out. Peter definitely does. And there's Pit going down. Oh, no. JDM. Yeah, phenomenal so play. Yeah, they threw enough flashes at long to freeze the defense there for just a couple seconds longer, and then they get the advantage, swinging out wide on Catwalk before Luminosity was ready for it. So Flam at least picks up one there, and I have to go in the retake. There's one in CT and one coming out long. The thing is, getting up Cat is such a key point for them. They're all holding plat, one on the stairs. And I, I'm not sure how Luminosity can really go about this, but taking down Cutler is the one way to do it. Lex coming up from CT goes huge with a big double kill. Get shot in the back, but it doesn't matter. JDM holding the stairs off. And now two on one, JDM, the stand in, he stands in the molly, they're going for the defuse, can he get the spray, he doesn't burn alive, he gets out with 13 health, the defuse comes out though from Lex, can he clean up the last kill, yes he can. Ooh, huge round from Lex, great cover what, from his teammate. What a hero retake, and I do not understand how CLG loses that one, they had an advantage every single avenue of retake for Luminosity, and hey, it's all Lex opening things up, coming up that ramp, looking behind his shoulder, up onto the railing at Catwalk and just gets two amazing kills and it just completely weakens the defense for CLG. That is got to be a real big uh, back, not back scratcher, like a head scratcher there from uh, CLG. They're like, all right, we have this great position, and Lex just demolishes it. That CT push was all they needed. And he's lining up the shots, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. But back onto the eco CLG, go, and Tech 9s, P250s, nothing crazy. Probably just going to be just a swift eco rush to maybe take a gun or two away from LG. I, I they could possibly get lucky and go for a bomb plant here in this B bomb site as they push out. Flom finally gets the flashbang he's been looking for, but it's only a one for one trade so far. Pith trying to jump on up here onto the boxes and he gets taken out by these Tech Nines. Lex only finds one as well on the B site, so we're back into another retake. But the burn from Lex's Molotov after he, after he died will be enough to pick up a kill, and that puts it on a two on two. And both members are lit, so. Still very manageable for the LG side. Pop flash from Tarek, he pushes through it! They don't see it and Tarek does it! Oh, that was Tarek. such an unexpected push! That's unbelievable stuff. Oh my. My heart can't take it. Tarek just going beast mode here. 23 and 12 at the moment. Carrying his team through specific stretches and their one, that one was just absolutely amazing with that pop flash through. I believe, there was, I, think, I think the reason Peter was so blind is there was a second pop flash over the wall from his teammate. I believe he did the door one, and then, yeah, the, the, the second pop flash was enough to help out a little bit. Uh, these, these past couple rounds have just been ridiculous, and here comes a, a long oh, play. Oh, okay! The Deagle. Pit gets yeah. one, anger goes down. Screw it! He doesn't need to see them, he'll just shoot through the smoke and get a headshot, why not? And, uh, they're out long, at least. The bomb should be exposed, they're gonna smoke the cross, Pit is gonna get himself dinked out a little bit, so... Uh, they'll have to retreat and take a more defensive position. There's one holding card and Peter, and... I mean, again, the trade, and they're even being cautious and throwing away AKs. They put that one in the dumpster right in the trash where it belongs. So, the yeah, four-man, Peter. Peter. Gonna come, oh, he does dink one. Cutler that takes nade? him out. Oh, no, that's a smoke. Oh, never mind, he beats. <laughs> Flom, though. Boom, there's one. <laughs> I, I honestly... Cold-blooded killers at the moment with these deagles. Oh, he almost timed it perfectly onto FNS. 
There's one holding over to the triple stack too, that's Lex. He's got his own deagle. Flom's walking his way up. Cutler almost reading it perfectly as soon as the smoke fades. Looking at the minimap and seeing him. So, there you have it. Yeah, him. that's a bummer because Lex is in position to make just a monster play. And you can even see how cautious CLG is being. They're not even going for this plant quite yet. They want to find out where this guy is. Even faking the plant. Oh, Lex peaked, he saw him. <laughs> FNS. Playing that so smartly and there you have it. CLG will take the round. They're two away from taking this match. Yeah, smart, smart by CLG there to, to make to clear the site to make sure they have everything secured before really committing to that plant. So they survive that that scary those scary deagles from Luminosity. LG have to play for the tie. Are they gonna save? Yeah, they're gonna save and play for the tie. It seems. Yeah, well, they're buying a scout on pit to see and if some he deagles. can make any Ooh. magic happen with it. Yeah, well, uh, you know, if they can make something crazy Ooh. happen, but Terra just picks him off right off the bat. Jeez, Terra came to play tonight. Yeah, I don't know how to use English, guys. I'm sorry. But, uh, here we go. Flom left with the scout, everybody on Deagles and P250s. And I, I think this should be just 15, 15-7 15 now, but we've seen the Deagles pull off magic in these past few rounds. So who knows? Tarek's still looking for his perfect timing to shoot, and there it is. So does Flom. Shoots out the scout, and color calls off Peter. And then he's going to pick up Lex in the upper tunnel. So that's 15-7, that's and Luminosity, this is going to be a struggle to even make it to double digits in terms of the rounds. Yeah, CLG, just, just like Luminosity did against uh, Liquid on, on Cash, CLG is just putting together, you know, a really a really strong performance here at the moment, both individually with plays by Tarek and FNS quietly getting to 22 kills. I uh, really haven't said his, his name much, but, you know, he's been obviously putting in some work, so uh, some individual plays and some, some very smart teamwork in the late round situations that we're not used to seeing out of CLG, so. You saying the team isn't smart? What's going on? <laughs> I'm just saying that at times they seem to lose their composure. I'm just shaking your chain. It's okay. <laughs> we did go for a, a really quick, fast cat here from Luminosity, and they actually pushed up and get a crap ton of information. The one man in pit, man, he's going to be able to find a kill to FNS. They weren't expecting that, but Tarek responds, and camera, what are you doing? Spot off the action. And uh, so it's a little bit of a one for one trade. They push out long, though, with that information spotted from a long cat play. And it's going to be really up to Cutler right now to get this initial entry, which he does on the pit. So they yeah, go, they go Peter, big there. Peter can't land any of those spots, so it's going to be Angers trying to pick up the AWP. But the terrorists just kind of fall off. There's an opera dropping in a pit. That's going to be Tarek, and now Angers stuck behind the single box, jumping up, and he's got to be careful of getting spammed there. So it's two on three. I think he wanted the M4. This battle in the middle is going to be huge between between JDM and, and Lex when Lex decides to come. Oh, and he gets spotted, tries to spam through the door, doesn't get it. He's going to keep trying to play for this right now. JDM looking for the wall bang. Well, Lex is the flash. Yeah, and he's holding he's holding Lex in mid, so they know exactly where both players are. One's in A, so this basically gives a two on one over at the A this entire time. Oh, that's it. And there it is. Anger and Lex both drop just about at the same time. Hayes and JDM end it for CLG.